everybody, this is Noelle at Petiti Garden Centers, and we wanted to show you how versatile sun patients are, and also some of, um, let's say, companion plants that are also versatile for planting in the full sun to the full shade. Now, sun patients, of course, are one of our favorite annuals that fits that bill. It is so easy to use in landscapes and containers in the garden bed for big, beautiful color, all different shades of colors, of course, but they work so well in full shade conditions, part shade conditions, sunny, part shady to full sun conditions. So they really are very, very versatile. And so they make in this container an excellent filler. However, I have seen monoculture, so just New Guinean patients in containers, and they fill and they are their own thriller filler and basically a spiller in one container if you just plant them by themselves. So they are, again, very versatile, however you wanna use them. In this case, we planted a container garden that you can put anywhere sun or shade, um, you know, porch, patio, whatever you like. And it's because along with the sun patients, there are all different annual plants and some tropical foliage that we put in annuals um, that will work very, very well in both light conditions, sun or shade. So let me start with the thriller. So this thriller is called Gaze Delight Coleus. What's really cool about many of your coleus varieties nowadays is that they can transition from full sun to full shade, no problem whatsoever. And you still have this enormous range of foliage colors, um, you know, contrasting vein colors, different foliage textures, shapes, and also coleus sizes. Because if you look down here, I have chocolate drop coleus that is a trailing type, a spilling type of coleus. So again, you can go from uprights to spillers and have no problem whatsoever. And I love using coleus, upright coleus, as a really cool thriller because it always has a lot of texture and color. Then I move down to my fillers. And this, this pot actually is a 14 inch pot. So I was able to put three fillers in this pot. This first one is what we call um, Purple Heart or Secretessa. It is in the, um, oh gosh, um, the Tradescantia family. Sorry, I forgot the name there for a second. But it is related to your um, Roeos. It is related to inch plants, if you've ever heard of that name. So again, this is a great tropical house plant family, but it works really well in containers for the summertime and throughout the growing season because it will fill, send out some branching here and there, has a little bit of that typical Tradescantia flower on it, that light purple flower, and it just gives you a really beautiful texture here as a filler in the container. Of course, we talked about the Sun Patience. This is a beautiful orchid color. It has that beautiful purpley pastel. And then over here, and it's hiding a little bit, is Euphorbia, okay? And this is your white Euphorbia. It is one of those plants that we didn't know how diverse it was going to be until we started growing it. And we found out it really can tolerate full sun to pretty much full shade, still bloom, fill out. And what we love about the Euphorbia is that it will fill through these plants, kind of poke its head out all over the container and really just make a beautiful white sort of, you know, gauzy look, if you will, or lacy look around the plant material. So we really enjoy it. Then the last plant for this container is a spiller. And so we use Silver Falls Dichondra here. Um, Silver Falls is one of our favorites and it's an awesome spiller. 
It actually, believe it or not, is a weed down south, a common lawn weed. But for our purposes in Northeast Ohio, no problem. We'll grow it in containers all day long. And I love it in hanging baskets. I love it in pots because it will continue to trail and just keep on trailing wherever you have it. So um, beautiful silver foliage here, no problem whatsoever. Um, and easy to grow again in full sun to full shade. Sometimes in the deeper shade, you will find that this will get, it will kind of lose its silver cast, get more of a, a green color, if you will, but still the habit and form and of course the foliage is very interesting as well. Other plants that would work very well along with sun patients, having that versatility to go from full sun to full shade, of course your spikes, okay? So any type of a thriller type spiky plant that you normally see will work very nicely. You have things like cordyline, um, lots of different colors again. Spiky habit will do very well in full sun or full shade. Your typical green spike or dracaena works just fine. I'm sure you're very aware well of that. And we love these guys. This is Junkus grass, okay? Um, but again, growing in full sun to full shade. This one's called Blue Arrows, but we really enjoy the fine texture on this one. Fillers, again, change out your colors of your sun patients. There's so many different colors from very pastel colors to very, um, I should say this violet is very vibrant, if you will, but it's still considered kind of a cooler color. But you could change it out to more of the hot colors, the oranges, the reds, and I guess maybe this violet, if you were going to say, it gives you a little bit of hotness um, as far as the color range is concerned. So you could change your colors out. Also, some of the begonia family. Um, this is megawatt pink, but it looks like a typical wax begonia, but they grow a little bit bigger and broader and brawnier. And so um, megawatts, dragon wings, uh, your wax begonias, just your normal wax begonias, they all do great in that full sun to full shade um, aspect, no problem whatsoever. So look for those begonias that have a little bit more Again, versatility, I'm using that word a lot, in order to kind of cover all those sun conditions. The last thing is I have some um, spillers here that are unique in the respect that, um, again, you would never think that a sedum would do well in shade, but this is um, a great sedum count. Um, ground cover, if you will. This is lemon coral, and it was um, introduced by Proven Winners a few years ago now, but it is a great spiller. It is a small, compact um, filler, if you will, in the, in the pots, and boy, it will grow. It will definitely grow in full sun like most sedum do, but it can tolerate shadier spots, so it's great to use in container gardens and also in the landscape. This one is a beautiful variegated sweet potato vine. Um, we love the sweet potatoes, of course, for their spilling aspect. But what we love about the variegated is it really does pick up whites, light greens, and then, of course, this kind of pinky purple color as well. The sweet potato vines will grow and typically like to be in full sun to part shade, but they can tolerate a deeper shade. You might lose a little bit of your variegation in the shade, but no problem. And then this last one I mentioned, chocolate drop. This is a trailing coleus. It's starting to really fill out. Its arms are starting to spread and go. This could be a little bit of a filler. Um, and then again, a spiller. But what's great about the coleus, folks, is again, the texture, the foliage color lasts all season long. Many of the newer coleus also don't bloom very much or not at all. They're semi-sterile. Um, so you don't have to go out there and deadhead a lot. It just grows and fills out and does what it's supposed to do. And believe it or not, your coleus can come inside and be a houseplant over winter. So why not grow coleus, okay? So at the end of this, we want you to realize that sun patients are, have super versatility anywhere you wanna plant them in the sun or the shade, containers or in the garden beds. And there are plenty of companion plants that will go with them and grow with them very well. Enjoy.